Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. Uh, and we will help you with any questions from any vendor. So this is the request that came in today. We're like Denny's, always open and serving. <laughs> Uh, Miss Green buys 300 shares of BFD at 15 per share. Uh, she then writes three FB July 20 calls at one. Looks like I didn't put the at one in there. Please pay attention. There's 20 calls at one. I'll fix that later when I get going here. And writes uh, three FB BFD July 10 puts at 50 cents. Uh, Miss Green's maximum potential loss is, well, I believe in spending a lot of time on the initial setup. And so in terms of the initial setup, I think underneath the contract, you get comfortable what you're looking at. So I uh, wrote three BFD July 20 calls. So I'm obliged to sell 300 shares at the strike price of 20. And I have 300 shares, so it doesn't look like there's a problem uh, thus far. Uh, I write the B three BFD July 10 puts at 50 cents. Uh, that's an obligation to buy 300 shares at the strike price of 10. So again, it's a buffet. Take what you like, leave what you don't. I suggest that every time you get a contract, underneath it, you write contract specifications. If you're good at the contract specifications, you're not struggling if that's an obligation to buy 300 shares at 10 and you can track money, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Uh, I bought 300 shares. The stock is always the dominant position. And so this is a bullish position. So whenever you have stock and options, the stock dominates and that's important because they're asking me maximum potential loss. And so I know it's going to be when the stock goes down. So that kind of helps me. Now, as I always say, fire up the tea. The tea is tried and true. It's been around. It works. It works on all option strategies, uh, particularly things like this, where you can't use any kind of a shortcut or some kind of a uh, uh, method that doesn't work, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> I know when people are asked about their other methods, sometimes they say, well, you won't see this on the desk. Yeah. All right. So we're firing up the team. We're going to track monies in and out. So I paid uh, $4,500 for the stock. Now, usually I th say things, do things on a per share basis. But when we have all kinds of things going on, and that's the one time I don't do it on a per share basis, you know, because I want to keep track of all the money and there's a lot of money floating around. I actually think this should probably be a churning question because what one, two, three trades here. Anyway, so we buy 300 shares at 15. Uh, that's where I caught that I didn't put the one in there, right? We bought, uh, sold, excuse me, wrote three BFD July 20 calls at one. So that's three contracts times one, the premium times the multiplier, that's $300. So I got that in there, that's dollars in. And then I uh, sold the uh, three BFD July 10 puts at 50 cents. So that's 150. So that is my setup. I call that my initial setup. And now they want to know the maximum potential loss. So again, uh, it's going to be when the stock goes down, right? Because that's the dominant position here is buying 300 shares at 15. So uh, the puts uh, goes to zero. That would be the worst case scenario if I'm a bull and I own the stock. And if it goes to zero, the calls expire, but I'm going to get exercised on the puts. I'm going to have to buy 300 shares at 10. That's $3,000. And please note that stock, you know, when the put gets exercised is worthless. So that's what it looks like, worst case scenario. So now to figure out the maximum potential loss, I'm just going to net those, right? And so I have a total of 7,500 out. I bought 300 shares at 15. And I bought another 300 shares at 10. So I'm out of total $7,500 for the stock. I get to keep uh, the premium, which was 450. And so I have $7,050 more out than in. And that is the answer that this uh, maximum potential loss is $7,050. Uh, or in this case, you could ESB, it's the B choice. And uh, side of the universe and uh, move on. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch. Yard by yard, your series seven is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request.